on some level, residential architecture feels like it is, there's a quality jump that's really happening where we're just hearing it from all our compatriots. Everyone's trying to figure out these low energy buildings and they're, it's a, there's an innovation race going on. And people, I, I hear people worry they're being left behind on some of these things. There's so much more contemporary design visible in the media. Uh, and you turn on TV, every car ad has a modern house in it. So we're seeing some shift. Um, it, we're still New England, and people, people often want a very contemporary interior and an exterior that blends into the neighborhood, that is reminiscent of some of the houses around them. And this house, actually, the street side has a gabled, pitched dormer, and it has the carport has the gable end on it. And that, were, that really was nods to the forms of the neighborhood and then it opens up towards the water. We actually had plans for a different house on this lot that was much more traditional to the area. Uh, it was a 3,000 square foot, you know, uh, less contemporary building. Um, but when we decided that we were going to move here, uh, we very much wanted to have a family home. And I think our thinking had moved on in the 10 years since we'd had the original plans done. And we wanted to have somewhere that was in keeping with our views on energy efficiency and sustainability and just responsible living. It's not just the dollars and cents that you spend on your heating bill in January. Uh, it's a notion of whether or not you are contributing to global warming and to being a responsible citizen, uh, or whether or not you're trying to do something about it. And, you know, we very much felt that having a, an energy efficient house and with sustainable materials is being a responsible citizen. All these energy efficient techniques that we see in the magazines are all very possible. So this house took a builder, a great custom home builder. I mean, Monaghan Works builds gorgeous homes day in and day out. Uh, they met a performance goal that very few people have met. And they did it the first time they tried. So this is not rocket science. All it takes is caring. It takes a builder who wants to do things as good as they can. Uh, so I think that's the lesson is that is that we can do all these techniques. They aren't mysteries. Let's get on with it. <laughs>